We are in San Francisco for the Alamo E4 AV Tour, San Francisco stop, and I have Melody Craigmile, the Vice President of Marketing for Alamo. How are you doing, Melody? I'm doing great, Gary. Thanks. You have to feel good about the crowd that you have here today. You have a few hundred people uh, checking out not only new products, but uh, about uh, 10 or so CTS-approved courses. Yeah, we're really uh, pleased this year. We're 100% CTSRU certified curriculum, and people seem to be enjoying the new product expo and all the classes, and a lot of lot of good networking going on here too. So, what is the um, what are what are people saying? You said you do a lot of follow up with the people that attend, and I know we went to Chicago last month. I mean, what what is it that they're here for? Is it is it because of the new products that you have here? Is that the primary reason they're here for? Is it the free food? Is it the prizes? Or is it the the, the educational sessions? Or are they truly actually saying everything? Well, the, in in order of uh, importance, according to our uh, studies that we do, the the number one reason they attend the E4 is to see new products and and new products and solutions working together, which which we've done here uh, with partnering up different manufacturers to show solutions working together, such as Mitsubishi and Daylight. They have a theater here. They're showing a new screen, a new laser projector. Um, we have NEC and Hyperwall and Premiere showing a whole solution with mounts and video walls. So that's the number one reason they attend. And of course, second would be the educational classes. And you know, we really focus on listening to that feedback, what type of topics they want, and and the variety between business building and technical knowledge, we try and, and keep a balance. So it's something for everyone, from the business owner to the engineer, um, and we try and keep a good balance. Well, you do actually have products that you don't, they haven't seen anywhere else other than at ISC in Europe, and I, I've been told that these products will be at Infocom. So you do have a unique sort of draw with new products. Uh, one of them was the 90-inch uh, LCD, um, and I know that there's a few others that are here. Do you know them off the top of your head? Or I, I didn't, I haven't seen the planar. Uh, this is the first time I've seen that here at the show, and that's very cool. Yeah, the uh, planar, the new uh, 4K uh, display, which is now shipping. Uh, and also the um, over here the mosaic which is called Foursquare solution that's new at the show uh, we have some new product from Sharp Aquas which has just started shipping it's um, enhanced audio on their consumer models which as you know is increasingly being used in commercial commercial applications and um, there's just a host of other other little things around here some new media players from Sunbright we have some new solutions from ZV and also um, Mitsubishi and their laser projectors and also some software that they have which is called SidePad which is for collaboration in the meeting room or in the classroom. Yeah, and actually Mitsubishi's their projectors have HD base T directly input on the projector. They're one of the first manufacturers to do that. So not only are they a hybrid laser based technology but also uh, HD base T. Um, Sharp's 80 inch uh, TV down there looks phenomenal. That's one of the things I want for my house. Make a mental note of that. <laughs> but um, you aren't going to see these things unless you come to a show like this because you guys are able to pull that you have the relationship like that with the manufacturer that they're not going to do a, a regional dealer show with a product like that but the the fact that you're a distributor bringing in hundreds of dealers from the area I think that you have a neat unique hook there and your mix of education and exhibits is perfect so congratulations on all that you've done and congratulations on your tour Thanks. Thanks, Gary. And, and thanks for continuing to support us. And a uh, great keynote this morning. And uh, thanks to Ray for continuing to, to cover it and, and doing such a great job. Well, we will continue this tour after the summer. Uh, don't know the exact locations yet. You haven't sent out the exact dates and locations. Do you know any of them? Yep. We're going to be uh, October 18th. We're going to be in Irvine, California. And then in uh, November, we're going to be back at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. And those dates are up on our website. So just go to e4avtour.com to see the dates and locations. And there'll be more information coming. A new tour? Another tour? More stops? Well, you never know. Never know. Okay, well, stay tuned. This is Gary Kay. We're here at the Alamo E4 show in San Francisco. And check out, we've shot videos at every single booth that will let us shoot a, a video. There's a couple that are, they don't have the right PR people here. But other than that, we have shot every, videos of every single product here at the show. So this is an opportunity for those of you who didn't get to attend the show to see it. And the copy of my keynote, the video copy of my keynote, me delivering it is on the website as well. You can check all that out at Rave Now or at ravepubs.com slash E4, or you can go to your site and you link over as well. So either one of these two addresses work. Thanks a lot.